then you can carry out a hydrolysis reaction and at the same time while carrying out the hydrolysis reaction you can add acidified silver nitrate to the reaction vessel so what will happen is that as soon as the chloride ions or bromide ions or iodide ions are produced whatever the halogen or alkene is a precipitate will be formed because the ions will be combined with ag uh, with the ag plus ion so using this technique you can identify which halogen or alkene it is and the rate of hydrolysis also tells about these uh, also tells a lot about these halogen alkenes now this is because so you can uh, you can measure the rate by the same reaction you can measure the rate of formation of precipitate of the precipitate and this that will be the same as the rate of hydrolysis because these two reactions are happening simultaneously so the faster the hydrolysis take, takes place the faster the x negative ion is produced because obviously x neg x is a, is the halogen over here so the faster the hydrolysis the faster the x negative ion is produced and the faster the x negative ion is produced the faster the agx precipitate is produced which makes a lot of sense because as soon as this this is produced it was it will combine with the ag plus ions to form agx so the faster the precipitate is produced the faster the uh, the, the rate of hydrolysis so uh, so iodoalkanes iodoalkanes hydrolyze the fastest because the ci bond is the weakest and since the ci bond is the weakest and uh, uh, it is uh, as it is it is the weak as it is the weakest bond it is very easy to break this bond and because it is very easy to break this bond i negative ions are produced very readily and because i negative ions are produced very readily the yellow agi precipitate is produced very readily then th this is followed by agbr so not agbr sorry the cbr bond which is a bromoalkane so this is slightly slower than the iodoalkane reaction because the cbr bond is stronger than the ci bond so it takes more time to break this bond and that's why this reaction is slower so uh, the cream precipitate will form will form more slowly than the yellow precipitate and then ccl is the slowest because the ccl bond is very strong and because this bond is very strong uh, it will take more uh, more time to break and because it will take more time to break the formation of precipitate of the white agcl precipitate will be very slow so in fact this is not the strongest the cf bond is the strongest and since the cf bond is the strongest it is very very easy to break the cf bond and that's why uh, it will take the most time to produce a, uh, to produce agf because f negative ions will produce very slowly then it will take slightly less time for cl negative even less time for br negative and the least time for i negative so this will be this fastest so the rate of hydrolysis goes like this fastest slower even slower slowest so you can see that's how the rate of hydrolysis goes about now uh, so uh, you uh, so now you know iodoalkanes will hydrolyze the fastest followed by bromoalkanes followed by chloroalkanes followed by fluoroalkanes now let's move forward so substitution with cyanide ions so cyanide ions are cn negative ions and you can see that kcn has k plus and cn negative ions so to substitute cn in place of cl uh, why we do this reaction i'll tell you in a bit but to substitute cn in place of cl uh, we have to use uh, ethanolic kcn so which is kcn potassium cyanide dissolved in ethanol and we heat under reflux so in this reaction as you see uh, the cn replaces cl so in the other reaction oh replaces cl now this time cn is replacing cl now the importance of this reaction is that as you can see the starting organic compound had two carbon atoms but the resultant organic compound had three carbon atoms so this reaction is carried out to increase the number of carbon atoms in the chain so we substitute the cl with the cn first and then we get this now this compound can have two very important uses so it can be reduced to form amines which are ch3 ch2 ch2 nh2 this is very important for the scope of your syllabus 
so CH3, CH2, CH2, LH2. So what happens is that this CH3, CH2, it remains the same. 